thermostat, $25 in antifreeze, and, and two new hoses. Yeah. This is wild bush in extreme okay the, working on our motorhome remember i told you that you check everything when you buy a motorhome and you get to seal it up good if you don't bad things can happen you know, i lost a motorhome a fire you know from like a nest being built well on this particular model okay couldn't get the furnace to work come over here i'll show you look what i found <sighs> holy shit Creepy, huh? This wouldn't turn. Now I know why. So what's that tell you? I was right. I was right. You check everything. I had no idea it would get to this point. Why? Why? We know <laughs> when you buy a used motorhome that's old, you, you, you got to expect that kind of stuff, okay? Come on in. Right here. See that? <laughs> the other day we were warming up the motorhome, got it running and everything, and uh, all of a sudden, kaboom, when we we're inside, I think the thermostat stuck. It got really hot in the thermostat because it's old, and so we need to replace both hose lines, new antifreeze, new heater core lines, Basically everything we got we got to replace everything. The only thing good on this is the motor and hopefully the transmission. But anyhow, kaboom! All the antifreeze became a cloud inside the camper. It was kind of crazy. All right, so that was that. We need to remove the seat again. There's no room. Okay, we're gonna take all the stuff out, and get in here. But if you look down there. The carburetor is not used to the new fuel, which has got alcohol in it, which is called ethanol. And so it eats away at the gaskets and everything. A new carburetor kit. As soon as you do the seal, you can't take it back, dude. But anyhow, that's got all the new parts. The new parts are uh, alcohol resistant, is what they say. We'll see about that. I've rebuilt about uh, 10 carburetors in my life. Should go good. I've done one like it. What we gotta do, coming over here. We're gonna take off this carburetor. We're gonna clean everything up around there real good first. And whatever you do, you cannot have no dirt or anything go in the manifold once we take out the carburetor. We gotta take out the fuel line. We're gonna take off the throttle linkage. All the hoses here, right here, you know, this is like a, a valve, I forget the name of it, but we'll replace that. The hoses, replace it. The heater hoses, right over there. Replace the uh, throttle advance hose. What that does is, you know, vacuum builds up, it makes the uh, timing advance. New distributor cap, new plug wires, points, oil change. Lube is going to run like a top. And also, what we got to do right here, valve cover gaskets here. They're leaking. And so we got to pull these off, get new gaskets on it. But what we're going to do when we do that, we're going to like go down the car wash. We're going to power wash everything, make it all clean. And we're going to paint the valve covers. So we're going to replace this hose too. Right down here is where the thermostat is. And I think that's what screwed us up. I think the thermostat stuck and, and so too much pressure built up in the lines and that's what blew everything so we better replace everything okay one more thing we forgot get a road worthy to go to Nashville and everything make some money playing music down here master cylinder okay when we went on the road you know there was brakes but then they failed we did not have brakes okay and so we need to replace a master cylinder too and bleed the brakes and also what we're gonna do all these lights I'm sure there's aftermarket lights that are like LEDs that are gonna be awesome we can put them in here you know save a lot on battery power so that's it